How is it going guys? We are back at it a freaking game with another deck highlight video and today we're looking at an L Nook deck. This is obviously on the cards. <laughs> please don't please don't unsub because of that pun. It was obviously on the cards that I was gonna be playing in an L Nook deck in some way because you know L Nooks are back, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, with prediction at the core. We can hopefully kind of put the uh, the cards in our favor whenever we are putting our troop of Elnox down to hopefully get a crazy amount of Elnox on the board uh, for very, very little mana spent. So, this, hey, we got our troop of Elnox. Let's go. So, yeah, the, like any Elnox deck, it's based around troop of Elnox. Uh, prediction kind of helps uh, dictate where or and when an Elnox is going to appear. And you have a lot of control uh, built into this deck. To help you kind of get to the stage of playing your five cost troop of Elnox. Uh, because you know you have flash. You have uh, mystic shot. You have flash freeze. You have uh, get excited as well. You have thermal beam. You have, brittle, you have so much in this deck to help you kind of dictate the pace. And stay alive until you can get those big beefy beasts down. And obviously at the core as well we have Sejuani. To help level up. And just do some devastating damage late game. You always want to have a champion in there with a little bit of a win con as well. But this this is really more of a fun deck. I don't see this being... Su <laughs> what the hell? That was that was the most craziest sound I've ever heard. So yeah, this this deck is primarily based around Elnox. Yada yada. If you enjoy the video, remember to like it. Uh, if you get any kind of educational content out of this video as well, subscribe and comment below and let me know what you think of an Elnox deck. So yeah. Uh... Also, comment below and let me know what is the main deck you're playing at the minute and the main deck you're playing against. I'm still kind of yet to see if Resign the meta appearing. I'm yet to see anything overly crazy. Oh my god! El Nux. El Nux. El Nux. <laughs> this guy's like, god damn it. God damn it. You can stun my El Nux. But you'll never take them and I was gonna say you'll never take them alive. You'll never take them dead. You'll never kill them. Oh jeez, I'm pouring coffee all over my desk. Oh no. Oh no. This is going pretty good. Brittle steel, brittle steel. Nice. All right. This is huge. So remember, at the beginning of uh, any kind of game you play with this deck, remember to try and mulligan a troop of Elnox, but not any other Elnox. You don't want that in your starting hand. You don't really want to draw any of them until after turn five, really. Goodbye, Karma. I think we've just won the game. Oh, maybe not good by Karma? Okay. Although, I'm just going to throw everything out here next turn and see what we can do. Like, she's going to have to defend with Karma, I think. Oh, we have another trip. I kind of hope that she does clear, like, put a lot of mana into getting rid of some of my followers so I can put more Elnux down. Oh... Wait, she's going to go down to one health? I can, I can just miss a shot and win. Alright, we win the game. That was really a bad play from her. I don't know. Hey, let's go, El Nux. El Nux. Alright, one more video. Or one more game. That was a fast one. So hopefully the next one's a little bit longer. But yeah, the power of El Nux in turn 5 is so good. So, so good. Okay, so we're playing against a Jinx Echo deck. Probably a lot more aggro, a lot more discard. Uh, see him wink on. Survive until turn 5. Drop the big fat Nux onto the field. Drop these Nux. And see what we can do. Bow, 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 
about now. This deck's actually quite good because it has a good amount of draw potential as well. Late game skill. Do you want to know something? When I initially made this deck and started playing it, I was like, hmm, this is a bit of a meme deck. But the more that I'm playing it, the more I'm realizing that at its core, it's very, very solid. Very solid. Yeah, like because we have like things. Yeah, we have things like Avaros and Sentry and Static. It's pretty good in relation to draw potential. And then we have Predict as well. So you can Predict and force a draw potential out of that. Next round, we're getting the Nux down. These Nux. These Nux. Um. Mm, maybe shouldn't play Ice Field Archer. It doesn't make any sense to do it. Should I pass? No, I'll, I'll throw her away. Oh, okay. This man has literally nothing in his hand. He is playing a Jinx deck, so I'm assuming he's going to be playing a Jinx very soon. The question is, lads? Nux, power! Oh. Oh, we only got three this time. Uh, so, a five cost card for three, three, and a three, four. Not terrible. There's just nothing worse than whenever you play an Elnok or a troop of Elnoks and you get zero Elnoks onto the field. You're like, ah, god damn it. <laughs> Thing is, next round, it's me attacking. Do I go troop of Elnoks? And then Brittle Steel, his Echo. Oh no. No. My my Nux. No. No. I'm gonna yield one of my three threes to make him think that I don't have enough to get rid of his uh his echo. By keeping that brittle steel there is going to be integral for potentially his next attack in turn. Because he is running out of things that he can potentially throw at me in his hand. He has literally two cards that I don't know what they are. Frostbite his Jinx. It means he won't attack with Jinx. I need to get Ez down next turn, because I think Ez is leveled up now, so. Also, like I was saying, actually, we have Sejuani for the late game, but I forgot to say that the reason this Elnok deck works so well with the control built into it is because you inadvertently level up Ez at the same time. Um, yeah, Ez is there for potentially an early, you know, an early champion play. Maybe play him in turn four, not five. And then play your Elnoks on a defensive turn. But... Yeah, he, he levels up really easily because you have Static Shock, you have Brittle Steel. Like I said, you have Law Loose Control cards to kind of help keep you afloat until turn 5. Alright, well, we're going to Brittle Steel Echo. Bum, bum, bum. This is looking good. He might Mystic Shot my 4-2. Or my 3-2. To save Jinx or Echo. Oh. He might be big but on him. He's big Brandon. Not terrible because I can still use my Thermo Beam. 
And we'll use that on Echo, not on Jinx. Goodbye, sir. And then Nyez is going to be leveled up. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I'm going to go Ez. I, I can't play my trip of Elnox, but I want to use Ez, attack, and then just Mystic Shot Jinx. Or do we drop the Nux? Oh, right. Now we... Now we have to deal with a level of Echo, which is actually really, really, really strong. You'll defend? Yeah, my 3-1 with his 1-3, and then I think he's going to... Yeah. Not defend against anything else. So we're going to Mystic Shot, his Jinx. This is great. This is brilliant. Mm. Brittle Steel makes no sense, doesn't it? Or Thermo Beam. Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel is significantly underrated for it to be a one-cost burst spell. Because if he attacks with, with Echo right now, he's dead. I think we've just won the game. Not yet. Next turn. Yes! El Nux. El Nux. We win. We win. We win. GG, my man. Dropping the Ez emote for the Ez. The Ez final kill. This is where I get too cocky and he comes back, drops something unbelievable, and I just get smashed. Hexite Crystal. Unlucky, mate. GG well played. Nice attempt, though. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it and subscribe for... All of your cards to be Elnux. If you want to have multiple Elnux on the field, you gotta subscribe. Yeah. Until next time, bro. Please take it easy. Peace out. Good luck in the rift. Uh, pin the comment section is and will always be the deck code. Peace.